yo people wagwan welcome back to Ron's tech hub and today i'm going to be showing you how to upgrade or update the firmware on the zim matrix this is of december 2023 so when i opened my app this morning i wanted to play some remnant 2 this came up on my screen and i need to go update the firmware so let's get into it so step one you open your browser and on your browser you're going to type in zim matrix downloads from there, you're going to go to the very first website that comes up. It's going to be labeled as Downloads Zim Technologies. On this website, you're then going to go to where it says Go to Zim Matrix Downloads. When this eventually loads up, you should be able to see the posts that were made by this person called Obsessive or Obsive. On here, this is the most recent one as of 2023. This was released on the 19th of June, 2023. So I'm going to click on this one. It's going to take me through to another page that gives me all the extra information I need. All I need to do at this point is simply go to the very end and download the stuff I need. Anything that says PC is what I'm going to download. If you have Mac OS, iOS, Android, whatever, you download the corresponding one for yours. So again, I have PC. I have a Windows PC here. So I'm going to click on PC on that one, and I'm also going to click on PC on this one. So let's download the firmware first. Click PC. It starts downloading straight away. That was already finished. Then I'm also going to click on Zim Matrix Manager and download the PC version there. So I'm just going to click on it again. Both of those are now finished. I'm going to close my browser because I no longer need this. I'm going to go to my downloads folder and I might need to extract these files. So let me go double check. Simply open your file explorer, go to downloads on the left. This should work for Windows 7, 8, 10 and 11 as well. So click on downloads. Now that I'm in my downloads folder, this is the file I need here. I only downloaded the manager so I can update it later on and put some configs on there. But the main one I need is Zim Matrix Flash. This is an executable file, meaning you should simply be able to click on it and do what you need to do. So the next step for me, I'm going to plug my Zim matrix into my laptop. So I'm going to plug the USB cable, the USB C cable into the Zim matrix first. And then I'm going to hold down that button on the Zim matrix and then plug the USB cable into my laptop or my desktop. So I'm going to hold the button down now and you're going to listen out for that Windows USB connection sound. Once you hear it, you're okay to let go of the button from the Zim matrix. So again, I'm going to press and hold the button on the Zim matrix, keep holding it down, and then you plug the USB cable into your computer. Once you hear the connection sound, then you let go. That was my connection sound there. And also the light on my Zim matrix is a steady blue light. It's not flashing. It's not blinking. It's just a steady blue light. So now... I should be able to double click on Zim Matrix Flash and see what comes up. Okay, perfect. So the first thing I want to do, I want to back up my configs first because I like the way things are set up at the moment. So I'm going to back up my configs to my desktop. Let's see how that works. I simply click on backup. I'm going to browse when this comes up, browse to my desktop because it's just easy to find. And I'm going to click save. And once I click save, there should be a new file created somewhere above here. It also tells me that it's been successfully backed up, so I can click on OK. That's done. This is the backup file here. I am going to have to go back into my downloads folder, double click on this file again, and then do upgrade, sorry, update firmware. So I'm going to click on that. Let's see what happens. Uh, OK, so what this is, because I backed up my config, it took the, um, the Zim matrix out of the mode it needs to be in. So all you need to do for this, if this error comes up, the only thing you need to do, click OK here. Once the program closes, unplug the Zim matrix from the PC. Then you're going to hold on that button again and reconnect it. So just like we did before, press that button on the Zim matrix, hold it down, keep holding it, keep holding it, don't let go. And then you're going to plug the USB cable into the PC. That was my connection sound there and my light on my Zim matrix is once again a steady blue, no flashing, no blinking, no nothing. I'm going to double click on this again and then I should be able to click on update firmware. So let's try that now. Perfect. And here it's telling me that my Zim matrix firmware will be updated to this. Um, I mean, just look at the numbers. The number should be higher, but that's it. I'm just going to click yes. I'm ready. And it should take about a minute, depending on how fast your PC is. It shouldn't take long to be fair.
there we go your zim matrix was updated successfully it can it's now safe to remove i'm going to click ok the program closes and the blue light on my zim matrix is no longer there it's flashing as it normally would it's pulsing so i'm going to unplug my zim matrix from my laptop and i'm going to plug it back in but this time i'm not going to hold the button down the only reason i'm going to plug this back in is so that i can actually go into the app check my configs i actually wanted to double check if there's a config ready for remnant 2 it's been out for a while now so there might be one plug my zim matrix back into my laptop i'm not holding down the button at, the, at this point so just plugging it in just so it gets power so i can connect to it using bluetooth i'm on my phone i am going to go to where it says media for me i'm going to open the zim matrix app let's see what comes up it's connecting connecting let's see if it actually connects this time connected perfect okay now i have successfully updated the zim matrix with the newest firmware as of 2023 december 2023 is when this video is being done so i am going to try and create a new config because i wanted to double check as you can see on my screen i've got remnant from the ashes i'm using the old config for remnant from the ashes to play remnant 2 on my ps5 so i'm going to click top right hand corner i'm going to click new config and I'm going to look for Remnant 2. I could scroll down or I could simply type in R-E-M-N. Ah, perfect. Remnant 2 is there. Perfect. So this is what I wanted. Click on Remnant 2. I might switch over playing this on my Xbox instead of my PS5. PS5. I'm going to use mouse and keyboard. It's creating my config. And I should be good to go after this. All right, it's just giving me some information here telling me that I should go into settings and make the optimal stuff that I need to normally do. I'm just going to click yes. And I have remnant 2 config on my Zim matrix. Firmware updated. I've also backed up my configs I had before. So everything's all good. Hopefully that was useful to someone. And thanks for watching.